My name is Emmanuel and I am a fourth year law and business student in Trinity College and this year I am on the committee so I'm the treasurer um, for this year and it's just mostly like involves us kind of trusting God to help us to manage our finances and our money and um, not go overboard but like he's been really faithful this year so um, we've been okay. I don't know, I think among all the kind of Christian societies or religious societies on campus, we're probably the most kind of evangelistic or kind of the ones who kind of would try and like um, get people to come who are not usually like coming. So I think people are, are kind of interested in what we have to offer and what we have to say. Even in Trinity where it seems everybody's very like um, kind of modernist and um, secular that people do still like have this longing for kind of a more spiritual dimension to life and that even if people aren't like always saying it or always advertising it they do like think about like deep questions about God and who God is. I'm Richard McConnell and I serve as a pastor at Black Rock Community Church here in South Dublin and so I've been a pastor there for the last four years and so as pastor, well, I'm actually not from Dublin. You might have guessed that. Um, originally from Northern Ireland, but I've lived here for over 20 years. Students flock to Dublin from not just around the country, but around the world. Um, a lot of universities here, lots of students. Um, it's a big university city and lots and lots of students. So there's a huge opportunity with that, you know, with students who come with, some of them are Christians, they come with their faith. Um, others come with no um, exposure, access to the gospel ever before. And so, yeah, you've got a real mix of students, both Irish and internationals. I mean, if you take any of us and you pluck us out of our families and our churches and you set us, even for good reasons, like pursuing your career, and you set us in any city across the world, I think we'd struggle. And I really feel that churches like Black Rock have a, a huge opportunity to support students when they are plucked out of their, their environment, from their churches and their families. And so we want to be their church family here in Dublin while they study, and we've really benefited. And, and not just in practical ways. So yeah, there is the practical way that students can come and join, a, you know, serve tea and coffee and welcome and read the scriptures in the service and be part of us practically. But I think we really learn as a church from those who are on the cold face of evangelism, those who are really chatting to their friends about their faith. So I think we really benefit. And, and I find that the interaction we have with the students makes a big difference in how we see um, inviting our friends to events. I think the Christian Union is, uh, needs support on campus because it's a short generation of students coming in and out. And yet as local churches, hopefully we'll be here for the longer haul. And so we can help both through um, CUI staff workers or relay workers, we can provide them with resources as much as we can. But the CUs themselves, we can provide training and discipleship for the students, but also maybe practically we can help them with events. So when the cost of events becomes quite hard for university societies, hopefully we can row in and help. Yeah, when you see other people who are Christian, who you've never met before, and they believe the same thing that you believe, and you can talk about God, it just makes God so much more alive and real. So I really fell in love with that and in love with Christian Union's mission as well, to make God known and make that hope that we have in Jesus known on campus. My committee this year is just so amazing. There are nine of us and I'm just so blown away by how different we all are um, in our backgrounds growing up and even in the churches that we're in, yet we work so well together and we're so united just because um, we all have received salvation and we all believe in Jesus Christ. But even like the members in Christian Union, um, I did just love that they, they get what we're here for and they're so willing to volunteer and they're so willing to serve and to you know bring food or to help with choir or to go and do stands and you know evangelize on campus without me having to like push them or prod them to do it. 
Um, they really get it and they really do want to love the people on campus. One of the biggest societies in Trinity is the Phil, which is like a, phil a philosophy debating society. And it's one of the longest running societies and one of the most popular societies as well. So I find that there's a culture of, you know, wanting to know uh, what our purpose is and wanting to know that to the fullest. So I think there's definitely a searching that's going on in Trinity. One of the biggest challenges for me has been kind of a sense of inadequacy or even, you know, that urge to compare ourselves to other societies or other Christian unions even um, and, you know, feeling discouraged by that. And, you know, I think that can be so dangerous as well. If one person becomes Christian this year, like then we should rejoice and you know we've accomplished what we've set out to do and I think just to have that hope and to yeah go where God wants us to go um, and surrender all our expectations and hopes and worries and insecurities to Him. A lot of my role is join alongside Christian students, mainly those who are on the committees within Christian unions, helping them to think through strategically and missionally about why they exist on campus, helping them plan events, helping with training and discipleship. I spend a lot of my time uh, in coffee shops, reading the Bible with people, praying with people, and helping students see the importance and the need for student mission on campus across this city and across this island. One of, one of the great things that I've experienced over the last year has been the challenge that I felt when seeing students talk to their friends about Jesus and invite their friends to come to events where they'll get a chance to hear the gospel. And it really prompted me yeah. last year to, to reach out to one of the guys I play rugby with and see if he wanted to read the Bible with me. And to my surprise, he did. Uh, but it was from seeing the students around me really engage with their peers that, that gave me that, that excitement again to, to reach out to those around me for the sake of the gospel. I think one of the challenges for students at the minute, not just here in Dublin, but across the island, is a sense of identity and who we are and who society says we are and what determines who we are and how good we are. And a lot of students are, are facing that and they're in the midst of that. I think given the fact that all of this is going on, it's a challenge for all students, but something really positive from that is that within the Christian Union on campus and with Christians being in lecture halls and in group projects and in tutorials across the university. Students are getting a chance to see what it looks like to, to follow Jesus and also face everything else that's going on. So for a Christian Union to be on campus and to exist for the sake of all the other students on campus, being able to show them how we can cope with all of the pressures of finding out who we are and what we're made for when Christian students can look to the challenges of university life and rest in the comfort that it's not about who they are or what they can do or how good they can be or what they can achieve but in, in what Jesus has already done for them. Then they can actually just enjoy all of the other things. They can enjoy the uncertainty of these new friendships and uh, what's to come in their academic achievements and in their classes and with their friends and it can be really positive for uh, an unbelieving world across the campus to look in and be invited into relationship with individuals who have a, a much more comforting outlook on life.